Hello everybody. I just wanted to come to you today from Malihegan State Park. Uh, that's kind of an area of Laudenville, Ohio, which is a little bit central part of the state of Ohio. Talk, you, talk to you a little bit and give you some artifacts about Ohio and uh, things you'll see along our trip here. As we're heading out, you'll see the fire tower off on your left. That's a uh, forest ranger fire tower for Mohegan State Park. And as we go further up the road, you will uh, will also show you uh, the covered bridge that will be coming up shortly. And uh, we'll be spending some time here with the covered bridge ahead. And uh, get out and take some photos. This is uh, also an area that I found to have a lot of uh, huge birds in it. They even have eagles in this area. Osprey, and that was the sign off to the left. I should have said something before I got there. But anyway, uh, here we're at the covered bridge. And I uh, just wanted to share a little bit about that with you. Um, you will see us uh, do a little turn around here. Actually, I made the turn here and turn right just to go by the river. Um, I'm not exactly sure that's a picnic area off to the right, but I'm not sure exactly what the river is here. Which one it actually is. But as you proceed through the park, we will um, be going back to the covered bridge that we cross shortly and get out and take more photos while we're there. It's a lovely park, a beautiful day. The weather was just gorgeous here the day we were here visiting a couple of days ago in the 80 degree range. Um, here you'll see I'm doing a quick turnaround and I will shortly be heading back and uh, we'll do some more footage on the bread shortly tell you more about Mohegan Park. Like I started to say earlier, the wildlife here. It's amazing. I didn't even realize the state of Ohio had osprey in the form of uh, the huge birds. I did mention the fact that we do have eagles in the area and owls, different various uh, owls in the area as well. Here we're going back by the bridge. I think I make a right turn here so I can come back. Here I'm showing you a picture of Mohegan and Birds of Prey that I just talked about. And I'm going to leave this area shortly. Just want to take a brief photo there, standing there, and uh, walk over the bridge. And there is a, a mound on top of the bridge that I'm going to um, show you a photo of. I think it was, um, you know, I'll point out to it. 1968, I think it was, the Mount on the Bridge, and uh, it kind of gives you a general area how old it is. Anyway, we're going to pro soon progress to the next, next part of the video, which will be at Pleasant Hill Dam, and uh, I'll talk briefly about that, and uh, be right back with you.
Okay, we're now at Pleasant Hill Dam on the Mohegan River. I was trying to think of that, it came to me. Which river that was? It's the Mohegan River. The dam is 775 feet long and 110 feet high, is what the sign said. Um, so naturally, you can see the water would never flow at a spillway like that. Here I'm reading the sign, a little bit of artifacts about the dam. And uh, the lake too is maintained below. The lake below is maintained at 1,020 feet above sea level, is what the sign said. And the spillway is at 1,065 feet. So that gives you a brief description. Like you said, I don't think they're going to have a problem with flooding here in this area. Um, you will see us hanging out here. Here's uh, some of the artifacts I was reading on it from the Corps of Engineers back when it was built. And uh, we kind of hang out here and spend a little bit of time here at the dam. Shortly we will be crossing the other side here by the dam, crossing the road. And you'll see me doing a little rock climb. Just kind of lingering here for a moment to show you the view. Here I am waving back to you. My signature wave. And then my husband and I are going to cross the street. From here, where I say the street, the parking area. Here's some steps that people can take down with their kayaks and take it down to the lake. A lot of steps to walk on them. Here you will see me climbing up on the rock to try to get another photo opportunity with you. Anyway, like I said, it was gorgeous out here. I was a kid at heart on this day and enjoyed being out in uh, the setting. It's a beautiful day. And we did walk, se watch several people down on the water that were kayaking. It's kind of hard to get them. It was uh, obviously a ways away. I did get my funny footage of me climbing up and down the rocks. Here you can see I was, didn't want to twist the knife. Anyway, it says no climbing on the rocks, and here I'm climbing. The sign said no climbing on the rocks. Yeah, that's me. I was climbing on the rocks. Anyway, shortly we will leave this area of Pleasant Hill Dam on the Indian Lodge. Here we are at Mohegan Lodge, and uh, it was kind of really neat experience being outdoors here. Just wanted to show you this lodge. It's uh, naturally what it's intended to be, kind of like a, almost a bed and breakfast spot. They have the lodge here that you can stay at, also a wonderful dining room. We've spent time here at this um, location on various occasions. Used to come up here a lot in the winter time too and hang out. If we didn't go RVing, we would take time to come up here and just relax for three or four days at the lunch and hang out. Enjoy the wonderful restaurant, enjoy the indoor pool, and just kind of chill. Uh, it also has an outdoor pool, but I don't know if it's heated or not. The one inside is. Like I said, just a really great retreat. You'll see me walking up the sidewalk here. I'm going to show you uh, their little water fountain. It was kind of funny here because I'm in the process of, you'll hear me talking, trying to explain to my husband that, hey, I could do this on a smaller scale in my backyard. Anyway. And don't see that happening. But anyway, until the next video. Uh, continue to enjoy the beautiful pictures here. I'm glad you came along for the trip to Mohegan Country. I should say Mohegan State Park. And I'm glad you shared the day with me. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Until next time.